Lawrence Fox could be fired from his role at GB News this week. The former actor recently left the nation shocked over his vulgar comments regarding journalist Ava Evans, during which he described her as a little woman. Following his vile attack, GB News announced they had suspended Fox from his position at the channel which champions free speech. Now, Fox has taken to X, formerly Twitter, to state that his future at the network is in jeopardy but he refuses to apologize to the mob. In a long statement, the former celebrity Gogglebox star said that his comments certainly didn't merit the mega media storm. Lawrence went on to claim that for months he has been telling GB News bosses to stand up for themselves following a string of unending attacks. In view of his 410,300 followers, the controversial personality wrote, My final thoughts, before I move on. As we have a busy day helping a girl who misgendered another student, by refusing to call her a cat. I know. Welcome to 2023. People are entitled to have a view on what I said and that is fine by me. Whilst a bit crass, it certainly didn't merit the mega media storm which has resulted. Especially given the genuinely appalling things said on TV which pass without comment. The woman on the BBC saying she wanted to kill all white people. And countless other examples. I have been saying to GB News for months that they should stand up for themselves more against these unending attacks. Instead, they panicked, trying to appease an enemy, who will not stop until they shut down. Namely at Ofcom, a regulator created to ensure the state narrative is persistently and regularly hammered into every home. As it happens, I am the catalyst for the great takedown to begin, which on reflection is a cause of sadness and regret, but if it hadn't been me, it would have been one of the desperate presenters currently joining in the pile on, not realizing that it's just a crocodile eating itself, and not long from now, many of them will be out of a television job, or so shackled and censored, that any whiff of authenticity is gone. Like a nodding dog on a car dashboard. And about as relevant. The United Kingdom is run by one political party, pretending to be two, by wearing different colored rosettes, with the same freedom sapping policies and controlling agendas. That is why you are seeing every show on regime TV discussing this affair, and both sides of the uni party calling in unison for an end to the insurgent channel. The uni party need is Vestia to spout their narrative. Where GB News have heard is by forgetting why they came into existence in the first place. Calling themselves the home of free speech is a simple principle to protect. They could have easily said whilst we find Lawrence Fox's comments appalling and they aren't representative of our views, we respect and uphold the fundamental right of free speech. This would have provided at least some defense and given time and opportunity to rally public support and fight back. Instead they went on the defensive. I still haven't heard a word from them, and am waiting for the chop on Friday at my disciplinary hearing. Such is life. I own my mistakes and take full responsibility for them. The major problem for them is now they are not the home of free speech at all. They are the exact opposite. They will cancel just as readily, if not more so, than the rest just to try and stay alive, and they have opened themselves up to an unending, brutal and sustained attack from the regime and their media lapdogs. In trying to appease the mob, they have emboldened it. Which is why you never apologize to the mob. I have worked hard to put across different stories, like the case of Street, which most of the propaganda media have ignored. I have enjoyed the lovely responses I get from the public for doing so. 
so it is a shame I feel for everyone that GB fell straight into the trap set for them. I feel even sadder, and pissed off at myself, that I allowed myself to be the bait for that trap by trying to make a serious point in a jokey and light-hearted way. Now I must rebuild. I've done it before and I will do it again. I have two kids to feed and clothe after all. On a final note, we should all ask ourselves if this is a society we want to live in, where the cancel ma brain and your only chance at existence is total and utter capitulation to their whims. Law's ex-journalist and commentator Ava shared a clip of the comments on Twitter, with the caption Lawrence Fox just did a whole speech on GB News on why men apparently want shag me? Which has been viewed more than 28. 1 million times. The journalist admitted she felt physically sick at the comments. Speaking to GB News host Dan, Lawrence said, Show me a single self-respecting man that would like to climb into bed with that woman ever, ever, who wasn't an incel. We need powerful, strong amazing women who make great points for themselves. We don't need these sort of feminist 4.0. They're pathetic and embarrassing. Who'd want to shag that? As both Lawrence and Dan laughed, the former actor added, Sorry, it's true though. Dan then remarked, I'm just going to provide a touch of balance from her because she did actually respond to this earlier today, saying that she regretted her comments, but she didn't apologize. So there you go. And she's a very beautiful woman Lawrence, very beautiful. Following the outrage over Fox's sickening comments, GB News said, GB News has formally suspended Lawrence Fox while we continue our investigation into comments he made on the channel last night. Mr. Fox's suspension is effective immediately and he has been taken off air. We will be apologizing formally to Ms. Evans today. Just me.